Gentlemen, today is a special day. It's a special day almost every day here at St. Clair College, but as you can tell by the screen behind me, today is a slightly more special than usual. The Saints Overwatch team are going up against competition, but not just any competition. Damn near might be the strongest competition yeah. they will go against for a long time. The St. Clair Saints are going to fight through hell itself to ascend to the heavenly gates known as a positive record here in their NACE League. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Daniil, also known as Betters McGee, joined by the one, the only, my friend. Go ahead and introduce uh, yourself. Theo, known as uh, the Holy One. It's a wonderful afternoon, evening here on this Tuesday night. So, yeah, it's a crazy game today. Saints taking on the Redbirds. As you said, one of their strongest oppositions here in the whole league. So, mm -hmm. they started the season 1-1, one and one, looking to get back on the winning ways here. Absolutely. The Redbirds at Illinois State University, they are potentially one of the most lethal, dangerous, fiery squads that any Overwatch team could go against. And uh, the Saints are very well aware of it. I am very well aware of it. And I'm very excited to know what the Saints are going to be doing going into this battle. I'm so excited, in fact, that I made sure I preemptively brought up one of the players, the legendary, the illustrious Red X here to join us at the caster desk. How are you doing here? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I like that. Okay. I'm doing good. I didn't even have to ask, and he yeah, already knows. Already you know, that's oh, the yeah. first question out of the way. <laughs> the second question following up, you hear, Sheldon, I want to know. This is a competition, obviously, and this is a very strong, very well-known team. How does that kind of affect your team's mental going in? Do you guys get shaken up like this? You don't seem like the kind of guy that does, but <laughs> no. I want to know. Personally, we're just going into this like they're just names on the screen. Doesn't really matter who we're playing. We're just gonna go in. We're gonna try to do our best. Try to take some maps, even if they're the best team in collegiate. Doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, we know that if we play well, we can literally be anyone we play against. Yes, absolutely <laughs> true, Theo. Yeah, I mean, I must agree. You guys have quite the bout today, but you know, it's a start to season one and one. How are you feeling um, with basically? Kind of the same core as last semester. How are you guys feeling to this uh, new semester? We're kind of the same old team. Oh yeah, we're we're going into it pretty good. Like we're we're pretty comfortable with each other. We're like the more time we play with each other, the more time we end up like end up just playing better like together as a team. And you know, a whole year of like basically the same like starting five. And we're going back into it with a lot of confidence. And scrim's been going well. And uh, I'm pretty confident that we can make some damage in uh, Nace Star League. That's you know. Uh, and the Saints Overwatch team is a very reputable one. One of our probably more prolific teams here at St. Clair College. Unfortunately, it's our first time seeing you on the stream mm -hmm. this time around. Is there anything that the viewers at home might not pick up on that we haven't seen you guys do yet? Anything that we should be looking out for at your debut game here on the Saints stream tonight? I'm a Juno god. That's all I, that's all I got to say. You know those videos on uh, YouTube, Gods of X character? You know, go Red X, Gods of Juno. That's, that's me. <laughs> I mean, couldn't have said it better. One last a small question. You know, there was a tiny uh, micro patch today, but they did uh, remove some stuff. Would you like to tell us about, about that little change oh, that happened today? The, the patch that came out actually didn't change anything. It was a hot fix, and they patched it like two weeks ago in like a hot fix, and they just forgot to make a patch note, so they put it out today and decided, hey, it's a new patch, and delete all the VOD recordings and everything, <laughs> nice. even though there was literally nothing. Well... Thank you for joining us at the desk, uh, Reddix. It was a pleasure to have you, and good luck in your match today. Take on the Reddix. Thank you, thank you. We salute you. Do us proud, my friend. Do us proud. You always do. You always will. It's very hard not to be very satisfied with the Saints' performance in any given game, any given title, any given school that they're playing against. And ladies and gentlemen, like I mentioned before, I don't need to beat around the bush. I don't need to repeat myself, but I'm going to for dramatic effect. The Saints are going against the strongest collegiate team for Overwatch here in the strongest collegiate league in NACE varsity and uh whew, like we mentioned things are getting hot in here things are heating up the fire that's not fake <laughs> what's <laughs> real this is a real fire so we really just kind of cut all the budget you know not yeah. the, the opposite of cutting the budget we cut we burned down the budget <laughs> <laughs> fair we said absolutely nothing to the budget we got a real fire going on back there those are holograms uh going above the fire i'm kind of losing it a little bit but ladies and gentlemen can you blame me we're going against illinois state University, also known as the Redbirds, and the heat is getting so hard, it's hard to focus, but Theo, 
Bring it to me. I mean, it's going to be a very intense matchup. That little patch that he's talking about is quite a significant one. It's going to be Brig and uh, Ramacha losing some of their armor that just wasn't supposed to be there, but was there. <laughs> so we're probably going to see uh, some different tanks there. I, I, maybe they st stick to the Ramacha, but I wouldn't mm. be surprised if we see an Orisa composition come out from the Saints. Now, Theo, uh, I, I like to take advantage of when I have an expert oh. next to me. I don't know about Don't that. be so <laughs> humble. Don't be so modest. You are quite skilled in Overwatch, you know, known as the legendary show up and play guy, and you're surprising everybody oh, with how out of practice you are, but you perform so consistently. I want to know from your opinion, as you play on the Academy team, what do you think makes our varsity team such a strong force in the scene if you just had to look at how they play? They usually have a pretty good read on the meta, and uh, right now in this meta, they have uh, very capable players in each role to step up to the plate and play against the best of the best and they've been together for a year now mm -hmm. so they have really really good chemistry some players have been in the team for three years so it's just when you have chemistry with your players at that uh, high like volume like it's going to be very good for your team and these uh, newer teams that have players leaving and coming it's going to be very be beneficial for us that they've maintained together for this time so i think uh, chemistry is definitely one of their strong suits and the read on the meta is very important as well i really like the choice of words their volume and chemistry if there's one thing i know about chemistry is it can make a lot of noise yeah. and uh, if you're saying that they have good chemistry i believe you because our overwatch team gets very loud yes uh, especially thanks to red x who god rest his soul he is now on the stage he's not dead he's not um dead. but yeah that team can yell, and ladies and gentlemen, I hope we can match a little bit of their volume as we get ready for this first match, but we're going to be sending it to a very quick break before we get things sorted out as our team settles in and gets ready to face their fears. But ladies and gentlemen, you face this break screen because we'll be seeing you guys very soon.
gentlemen, can you feel the heat in this room? I know I can, especially since the computers are getting fired up. These players are turning on, getting into lobbies, and getting ready to start this Overwatch matchup. Here we have the St. Clair Saints versus Illinois State University's Redbirds, and we are getting started in match one of their NACE varsity Premier League matchup. Yeah, it's going to be, the first map's going to be Lee Jang Tower, so, um, so I'm interested if we'll see in uh, those uh, closed maps, are we going to see the Ramacha come out, or the Arissa, or maybe even something spicy, but I think Ooh. those kind of the two uh, big ball? characters. They could play a Winston dive comp as well, but I think uh, we'll just have to wait and see to what they can cook up. The Redbirds can they can cook up something as well, you know. A very strong team can definitely flex mm -hmm. onto many different picks. So it's uh, not going to be not going to be easy for the Saints, no matter what. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of work cut out for both of these teams, but the match slowly getting started. We can see what exact strategies that they're going to want to go for here. Uh, but time will tell. Let's see what these teams are going for here as we get into Lee Jung Tower, St. Clair Saints against Illinois State University. And looking at these lineups here, Theo, what's immediately coming to your mind? Yeah, it's going to be basically the exact same cons from both sides. Saints are able to win the first fight somehow, taking down Kuffa before anything really happened. I'm surprised that that was the case. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Sweet. Sitting on this. Well, we will look to find something. Nothing lands. Just a bit of poke coming up from both sides. Squeak doing a great job of controlling a lot of space. Kuffa going to take a couple of boops there. Almost gets off the map, but is able to stay alive. Saints doing a great job so far. Looking for the boops there on the Arisa. Can't find anything, but Noxious finds a pick onto Waymo and on that Farah. And it's going to be Kuffa all by himself here. Let's be very, very careful here as the Saints are poking this Arisa out, but no more cooldowns left for the Arisa, and she gets comboed off the map. Beautiful play so far for the Saints. Absolutely. The Saints are doing a great job of holding down this bridge, making sure nobody can get across. Illinois State University, they're really struggling to find their foothold, but fair is fair. 30% is what Saints are going to be able to take right now, but now we're going to see their next major push coming up from Illinois State University. They're going to go for a flank on the backside here, and it, so far, they're finding a bit of success. They're not going to be able to spam on the rocks as well over there as you were before, but now we're seeing the rotations coming up from the Saints. They're getting ready for oh, the Razor finds a boot onto the support on Illinois State University. They're going to have to be playing a little bit more patient now without the heals coming up from the back. Razor now with the ultimate in line, so this is another area of denial tool. They're basically guaranteed to oh. sacrifice at least somebody, but Noxious is going to go down to the enemy Ash, forcing out another uh, potential stalemate for both of these teams. They both have to wait a little bit longer. The Saints are winning that exchange. Yeah, there goes the Juno ult. They're going to use it really early because they are down a person, so they don't want to let them just come in, but I don't know if that was the best the Juno ult there from uh, Red X. It's going to be Squeak going down extremely early, and that should be the fight going into Illinois. Waymo going to find a pick onto Razor. It's just a matter of time before Saint back up and flip the point back over to Illinois State University. Illinois State University now with three ults in tow. They're going to be holding down this point, but Saints, you know, they have their own ults ready to use. Bob could come in and cause some havoc, but where things are right now, the Saints will have to at least get past that first choke point, which it seems they're struggling with just about now. But we're going to see that speed ring allowing the Orisa to get up with the retake not too far behind. But now Illinois State oh, speed, using the ult, holding them in place, forcing that damage out, oh. and the missile trade's going to come out. Razor besting the other Rocketeer, but Bobs are both coming out now. It's going to be a robo duel. It's looking like Evangelion over here. We're seeing a lot of explosions, a lot of chaos. Noxious missing both of those shots, but it's enough to scare lethal behind Saints, flying their way onto the point. 80% is where they're at. They just have to hold it for 20 more, and they're going to be walking away in this round one of this game one. Saints looking very strong so far. Yeah, they have to be careful. Squeak is on 1 HP. Redix has that ring ready. It's going to be Squeak able to stay alive and heal up to full. It's going to be a very hard fight to win for Illinois State University. They only have that Arisa ultimate, but both supports is, uh, have their own support side of Saints. It's going to be lethal coming back on the Widowmaker as well. Here comes, here comes the rally, and they're looking to find an early pick. Noxious picks up the Brig, and lethal falls as well. Nice picks there from Noxious. Is going to give this first round more than certainly to the Saints as they get a clean wipe in the last team fight and take the first round with relative ease. You know what? Maybe this is just the Saints map, you know? Maybe this is what they practice 24-7, spend every day rehearsing. Because uh, I'm going to be honest, it kind of looked like it was, just based off of that performance. The Saints really had a lot of control there, and they really exerted it. Illinois State University was struggling a lot to really find their footing. But it's it still wasn't free. The Saints still have to fight a lot in 
Illinois State University didn't make it easy. Yeah, they didn't make it easy, but just early picks coming up from the Saints. Nox is doing a great job on that. Ash was able to find the big dynamites and the big kills, and then Saints just kind of ran over their opposition. So it was a great job from the Saints, and they're going to look to replicate the same thing here in the second round. Yeah, replicating the success that you found it shouldn't be too difficult. The Saints have done it once. I'm sure that they will feel comfortable doing it yet again. Here we are into this next stage of this map, and St. Clair College holding down this offense already but uh, Illinois State University the Redbirds are gonna take down two Saints they're gonna have to force a sack here at least try to get some heroes down but they're not gonna be able to find anything it's gonna be a retreat coming back for the Saints and they're gonna rally to get ready for the next push yeah that was a great fight from Illinois Rufo found the pick on to Red X and as soon as your Juno falls makes the team fight unwinnable so you can see how easily Illinois State just ran over the Saints there it must be Saints win their fight. The back is gonna swap over to that Genji and match. Waymo is gonna actually take out Waymo. So a great start to the fight for the Saints as they're up a DPS to the other side play this one. Squeak looking for the shots onto the Arisa trying to make some space but you can see how spaced out Illinois State University are even with the pick Saints still struggling to get some space up. Razor will force the point. Arisa gonna get down to half HP. Juno uses that speed ring on the outside. Buffa though on one HP on this Arisa will be able to stay alive. Saints might be able to find the flip here but Squeak will be able to find the first pick onto Cuff, and now the Saints look to chase. They flip the point over, and if they can get a couple stagger kills, that would be massive. I don't think they can go deeper, but still a great fight from the Saints. They percent on the board for the Redbirds. Saints fighting back now. They're holding down this plaza square. It's not easy to hold it down as they have all angles of attack, but the Saints are doing a great job. We're seeing Bob coming up from Lethal. Redbirds now having a strong offense to make sure they can find their way out to this point, and that's going to be the opening that they need. Saints are split up just a bit, and they're already recapping. Saints only getting to 24% before they lose possession once again. It costs them all, but we're seeing Red X retaliate with his own. Saints are strong. They're on point, forcing them all back. Genji with the Dragon's Blade. Is he going to commit for a Razor? Could make something really happen here, but like you said, Theo, it might not be worth it. They're going to just hold this down and take what they can get. It's contested. Orisa using the ultimate, but now we're going to see Razor commit. Finding one. Now two. He's going to go down. Cut that life short, but at least he's able to get something done. Sweet going to miss the spear, but shouldn't matter too much. Going to be able to clear off this point. Saints still holding possession. He uses the altar just to stall a bit longer. 42% now for the oh, Saints. Nice Spear's going to find a kill as well. Red X cleaning up the tank on the side of the Redbirds. And now catching the stragglers as they're all forced to retreat. Squeak right in the thick of it, making sure anybody trying to find their way is going to have to answer to him. And they don't have to anything nice to say to this Arisa. So they will say absolutely nothing and run back home, waiting for the tank to come back. Yeah, Illinois pulled the trigger there, 45 without their break. And they did use the Arisa Genji ult combo to try and find something. But if anything, there's the Rally Razor in a little bit too deep here. We'll be able to stay alive. No Admiral. We'll get a couple easy kills. And it's going to be just the Rally needed to win this team fight. Saints also did throw away a Bob. So a bit of a disastrous fight there for the Saints. Illinois State's easily going to take that one and regain control of the point. Saints at 79%. And, and now it's Illinois 42 and counting. So still a couple team fights left on this map. Ultimate economy is not good for either side, but it's going to be Red X who's the closest to their ultimate with that the Juno ultimate being at 80%. Now, if they can get that Juno ult first, that's going to be their win con for this next fight. You can see Squeak taking a lot of damage. Soaks has to be careful on the break, doesn't go down. They do have the Juno ultimate ready, but Soaks dies. They still choose to commit to the ultimate, but I don't think they're going to be able to win this one. The Urissa's in the back line looking for picks, but can't find anything. And Kappa finally picks up. Nox squeak falls down and the whole squad goes down. It's going to be Illinois with another clean team fight win. Absolutely. The Saints, they really fought hard to get that ultimate. And like you said, it could have been their winning condition, but it was popped in such an awkward situation. They weren't able to make the most of it. But now Illinois State University with four alts in their back pocket. Saints, not really a hope in their eyes to recap this point. 91% on the board as well. The Redbirds are taking this one all the way to their nest. That's going to be round two going the way of the Redbirds. Saints scrambling for an answer. They got it a lot closer than the Redbirds did in the last one, getting it to 79%. But still, if it's not 100, it might as well be zero. Yeah, it's a good round from Illinois State. The uh, Saints made it very competitive. I've had a chance to win that round, but I think poor ultimate usage was mainly their downfall there. Now we're going to be going to map three, and you can see Orissa, the go-to tank now, basically. And uh, every single composition, just to sustain on that character, is very, very good. And 
with with DPS players these days getting kills left and right, just staying alive on the tank is the most important thing, just taking that space. Uh, both tanks have played very, very well so far, and it's just been a all-out shootout in these first two rounds. Watching the, the punishment that this Arisa takes so consistently is making me understand why you're seeing so much Arisa. It's just, why would you pick Winston? Why would you pick uh, Zarya or Zenyatta? Like, why would you pick anybody when you can use Arisa? The tank of all tanks, the spear is gonna force Squeak down, but retaliating with that that barrier. Race is going to find the opposing Genji. That's going to be really a boon for the supports on the side of St. Cloud Palace, not needing to worry about any flanks or anything like that. That's going to be an opportunity for the Saints out to push up. They're going to push through that damage, push through that choke point. Heal's coming up from Red X. Everybody's nice and healthy, and they are on the point right as it opens up. The Saints are going to get the initiative here, thanks to that pickoff on uh, the Genji on Red Burst. But as they're taking the high ground here, we have our own Genji kind of flanking them from the top side, picking them out, doing a lot of damage. Razor looking for anything, not just finding Genji. What's this? Again, that's huge for the Saints. One less of oh. Reaper, but we lost our own now. genji -less battle. Can anybody make an advantage of the situation? But Kuffa's gonna find Soaks. We're down a support. Saints slowly losing this fight. Noxious fell in the midst of that as well. Squeak and uh, Renex here are gonna just try their best to stall as long as possible. And Squeak doing a hell of a job forcing all eyes on him. You're forcing people off the point. But that's gonna allow the Saints to get to 30% before they lose possession here. And Saints are gonna... Oh, in fact, no, they find the recontest. We're going to see Razor here biting on the point, almost taking one down before he goes down as well. Actually going to get us to double that, or 10% uh, more, just about 40% as to where they were originally going to get uh, possession at 30 before it switches over. Redbirds now holding the choke point, ready to Saints for the other spot. Yeah, Saints just got the first pick, but then a bit too aggressive from Razor. Does go down, and then this fight swings the other way with Cuff and the back line. But now they use their speed ring early. Can they find anything here? A lot of ultimates gonna be invested into this choke, but Soaks gets caught out. Reddix falls as well. And it's gonna be another fight going to Illinois State University. They only used two ultimates of their own to win that one. Saints only invested the Juno, so it's not the end of the world, but still. Gonna be a lot of ultimates online for both sides. Saints will have that Bob available, so they will have an ultimate advantage here. If they lose this fight, the rest of this round could be tragic and noxious. Uh -oh. Look at Sean in the back by Lethal, but the trade comes out from the Genji. Can they find anything else? Break force to rally out. Saints rallying in response. Both teams battling it out here. Saints looking to win the fight. They use the Orisa ultimate. Now Kuffa's on one HP does fall. Lucamino falls as well as Saints are gonna run over to the point as they take out all of Illinois. State University's members. That original push that the Saints kind of got snuffed out on, it basically cost Illinois State their uh, alt economy in order to maintain their advantage. So as soon as the Saints respawn, they meet the Redbirds right at their spawn, and they have the alt advantage there. And we saw how it worked out in the favor. The Saints were able to retaliate to any commission or uh, committal moves that Illinois State used, and were able to answer in kind. But now we're seeing a basic all-out brawl over here on the left side. Red X is going to go down. Huge Advantage. Now we're seeing the Genji get his revenge for all those kills in the early game, but he's gonna go down. So is gonna take him out. Tank is low as well. Saints are forced on the back line to 69%, but 70 actually as Razor still stalling just a little bit longer. 71%. Let's see if that's gonna amount to anything. Hopefully it does. As Red X healing up the rest of the squad as we wait for Razor to respawn, wait for any offense that they can try to find for potentially stalling out just a little bit to get Razor uh, Red X's ultimate. Just think to find any pickoffs, any little bit of extra damage can be enough to commit and get a pickoff before they can get in. Squeak rushing in, backed by his team. The heals are here as well. That's gonna be really scary thing to commit for. But the Saints, they're low, they're getting pushed back, but they're gonna use Rex as ultimate. They're forced to hold their ground just a little bit here. Not really gonna be able to do too much. Noxious, in fact, just about to go down, but getting saved. The rally is here, pushing now. Saints are leaving their spawn, finding their way out to the point, but the opposing uh, Juno ult is actually gonna be found out, and she's just about to go down here, but the answer's coming out. Noxious not gonna be able to find, gonna get stunned, taken down, and the Saints are not gonna be able to find their way out to the point. Not quite enough, not quite quite fast enough. The answer wasn't there. Redbirds had their number, found the answer, took them down. Saints are gonna be losing this game one to the Redbirds.
Yeah, very close map there in the end. Uh, Redbirds, they got their ultimate second and Saints weren't able to kill them in that little window that they had the ultimate advantage. And if you use the ultimate seconds and you have the sustain in the long run, you, you will find those picks. See the Brig and the Juno in the back line just annihilated the Saints. And it's gonna be tough, but getting the pivot game on the Sarissa, that spear is what kind of changed around this round. I feel like if he doesn't get that, they're down a person. Saints can snowball with it. But it was a great response from Illinois. State University so a great first map from both sides Saints definitely showing some fight and uh, you know against a very strong team a very good start yeah absolutely the Saints were playing out of their minds especially in that first round they showed that the Redbirds can bleed in fact and they bleed red maybe that's why they're the Redbirds mm -hmm. hopefully the Saints can make them bleed a little bit more but it's gonna have to do more than just cause a little bit of surface level damage they're gonna have to get in there and really do some harm if they want to walk away with a win in this series but ladies and gentlemen after that painstaking game one the saints are going to take a little bit of time to recuperate reevaluate and uh, kind of conspire a stronger strategy going into this game too but ladies and gentlemen it's not going to change too much as we're going on king's row we'll be right back after a quick break Now entering King's Row, initiating match. I told you it was going to be quick, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the players are actually a little bit more ready than we thought uh, and are sending it straight into the game. We are here on King's Row, also known appropriately as Saints Row, as this is one of their more famous maps. Yeah, this is one of their favorite maps, and it's a good map. It's fun to play, it's fun to watch. So uh, I wonder what we're going to see on. Uh, the first the first attack, the first attack of the round shows so much. Is there going to be someone going all the way around to take the high ground, or is we going to see a brawl in main just on the point? Um, it's interesting, every team has a different uh, way to approach this one. I just can't wait to see on what uh, Saints are going to do this time. Do? Yeah, everybody go loves a good old-fashioned death ball, and it's going to be rolling the action as we switch over into the Saints Bro, And we're seeing not another mirror comp, which fair enough, it's a different type of strategy here. Illinois State going to be rocking the Winston comp. St. Clair going to be running with the Orissa tried and true. As well as time itself, and Saints on the defense, Redbirds on the offense. Let's see if they find their way to victory in this game, too. Yeah, it's going to be a Winston comp from Illinois with that Farah and the Widowmaker, and Saints going to be going for the Ash and Kenji. Same comp they finished last round on Lethal. Going to find the opening pick onto Soaks. You can see Saints instantly call this trade. The backlines here, can they get it done? If they don't get any kills here, it's going to lead to a loss in the long run, and it doesn't look like they got any. The sustain is too good from Illinois. Redis does find a trade, but everyone from the Saints dropping in just the span of a few seconds. going to be Illinois State fully capping the first point. Another very interesting thing that you never really consider too much is the fact that if, you're, if your tank is in the d bubble shield of the opponent team, they can't get healed out by yeah. your healers that have to shoot to heal. So I saw Red X there struggling, trying to look for a chance to heal Squeak, but that opportunity that never came as the Saints are actually able to find a touch onto the point with that D.Va pick. The mobility is not to be underestimated on this tank. Finding a way, sticking onto this point, huge HP pool and even stronger defense made tricks as the pickoffs are coming once again Rage is going to find one in kind at the very least while the Saints are losing two Squeak is going to fall very shortly as well as she's forced to D-Mech and now Redbirds have finally captured the point that I think that they were owed just a little bit a little, uh, earlier. Yeah, Lethal find, finding a couple picks onto Soaks both fights. Uh, very good start. You can see the rally difference 40% to 93 for yeah. Admiral. And it's going to be hard to play against in the street space but they can avoid getting picked up first. It's going to be very favorable for the side of the Saints. It's going to be an echo pick actually coming up from Razor now to try and counteract the Pharaoh Widowmaker composition. That's a very good pickup. 
see if Echo can ever get in a range. There's gonna be the rain coming out onto the Diva, but the kill won't come through. Now the winds are gonna dive in. Is the bubble ready? Take it down low. Will be able to stay alive. Gets a couple packs from his break there, but still, in the meantime, Illinois are pushing this card, so it's very, very good for them. They're making a lot of space. It's gonna be Squeak finally touching with that ultimate, but Kafa finds Soaks, and the ultimate's used across the board. Lethal does fall down, but the rest of Illinois State are looking really healthy. Kafa picks up Razor. They have the advantage now. Squeak gonna fly up here, but we'll get D-Maxed in just a second. We'll stay on 43 HP if there's no health attack there. Doesn't use the ultimate as the rest of the Saints fall. Another clean team by win for Illinois State University. It yeah, might be a wise call. Force uh, or keep the Diva ultimate for a situation where you can really make the most of it. That building, uh, a lot of corners you can hide behind yeah. if you decided to uh, just nuke that spot. So holding it off and didn't even make sense to use it to regain the mech. So Saints are just waiting for the perfect opportunity to shut down and push him up with the Redbirds. No but one all the economy is coming out. In fact, just sense. dropping one lethal with the wall hacks ready to get the headshot. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, forcing the knee mech, almost getting the headshot onto the diva. But as the fight continues over here, Soaks almost getting Kuffa, but Squeak's gonna get the cleanup on that kill. We're seeing Tracer rushing down, forcing the Brigitte back. Admiral running for his life. Soaks as well, recovering on that ultimate point. Noxious is gonna fall. Razor taking down the Farah on the opponent team. Getting slapped. Squeak with the rude awakening. Forcer and Shreet back with the team. Saints, another successful defense. Yeah, good stop there from the Saints. Finally slowed down the Illinois State. And no ultimates left for Illinois, so it's going to have to be a pick from Lethal coming out again to start off a fight. Otherwise, the Saints are very, very comfortable in this position. The bubble's going to come out. They try and poke out this Diva. Squeak is taking out to 1 HP, but will stay alive. And they're just going to keep healing him up. Reddick's trying to build that ultimate, but there's the opening pick. I was talking about Lethal. Picks up Noxious, and he's just been so deadly on this Widowmaker. The Nano Boost comes through onto the wind. Ooh. But Lethal finds another one. Oh. To Reddick's great shots there coming out from Lethal as he takes down all of the Saints. And That's it's gonna be a second point capped here with almost four minutes to go. Uh, it's just uh, the domino effect, you know. It, all it takes is one before you start like, oh wait, I'm kind of crazy at this game, aren't I? And it's just one after the other after the other. So Saints really suffering there, and I realize that they actually did use Squeak's ultimate to recover the uh, Diva Mech as uh, after the. Uh, Widowmaker headshot him earlier, so still recovering on that, but three alts on the side of Redbird. They're gonna have a huge vanish here, but we're gonna see Red X using that huge UFO beam to help support the team. They're getting aggressive, they're pushing up. And oh we no, oh, oh no. Tracer with the double stick, it's huge. The Saints defense has a huge hole in it now, losing a support and a very vital DPS in the Echo. Missing that shot, thankfully. Lethal's not gonna be able to completely shut down the Saints just yet. Kuffa just on the brink of getting the monkey rage. And there it is. I don't think the Saints are gonna be able to get out of the spawn, not on this side at least. And Saints now looking very bad as the cart is inching ever so close towards the final point. Not a lot they can do to stop this one. Squeak holding on all on his own, using the Diva Bomb, forcing anyone back. Can't even get a single pick with it, but at least gonna get that respawn. Saints are not able to leave the spawn still. It's just Squeak out here all by himself, basically. And we're gonna see Razor coming out with the Brigitte with the Echo Ultimate, but not gonna be able to get the touch that they need to win or hold off on the Redbirds win. Round one's complete. The Saints are gonna have a hell of an attack Oh, they need a match. good one. Yeah, it's going to be potentially the best we've ever seen them play if they're able to pull this off. Yeah, I mean, that was an absolutely amazing performance from the Redbirds. Lethal on that Widowmaker. Definitely the big carry on that one. Found a pick. I think every single fight they won, and they won most fights. So definitely a great performance there. And Saints definitely have to find a something to counteract that. They kind of tried to go the D.Va after starting on the Orisa, but it just didn't work out. Lethal, just too lethal on his character there. It's now Saints going to be on the attack. Let's see what kind of composition they decide to play. Illinois State going to choose to play the Winston, Farah, Widowmaker in the same back kind of on and break. And it's going to be St. Clair maybe going for a Hanzo here to start off. We saw Noxious play towards the end of last map. Maybe it's one of those picks that does good against the Widowmaker. I don't think this is the comp we're going to see for the entire round, but to look to start, get a pick early on, 
shouldn't happen at this level of play, but hey, we've seen it at the highest level of play. So if Saints can get a starting pick here to start off this round, maybe he can start a snowball effect and give them a chance in this map. The only thing that worries me about this comp on the side of the Saints is it's very precision focused. They don't have a lot of splash damage. The Saints, even with their uh, even with their tank, not really able to spread a lot of damage to the fact that they got the rocket sure. They're going to switch Razor onto the Farah, thankfully. So that is the epitome of splash damage. Okay, so Nox just going to be looking for the headshots. Holy oh, Farah! It's immediately getting headshot, which, fair enough, you are just a floating target for any Widowmaker worth their salt. So, gonna be forcing uh, the Tracer switch actually. Oh, like another one! Soaks going down so, so early. Snuffed out. That's the Saints. Oh, oh my goodness! Red X completely <laughs> taken out. Saints, they are forced to such a slow start. And just look at the alts already on the side of the Redbirds. Lethal with 70%. Oh, control. Kappa, yeah, getting too aggressive too early. Now that's their tank gone. And I don't think any team could really make a hold that well without their tank on uh, an objective push. So Saints are going to find Oh Ashton. my goodness. What is happening? Lethal still able to find these pickoffs despite having oh. nobody to front line. And is that Winston already back oh. in the action? Action. It looks like he is. Oh. Squeak is going to be going down as well. What just happened, Theo? This has got absolutely dismantled. This is looking rough for them. I mean, uh, Lethal is having an insane performance on this Widowmaker. Every time he looks to find a shot, it just manages to hit ahead. You can see Saints have no idea what to do. They've gone for the Tracer Sombra DPS line. They're just going to look for this uh, Widowmaker and try and find something, but. Are they going to be able to do so with Kafa, Admiral, and Lucamino looking to keep Lethal alive? There, find them on the point, do a bit of damage, but That's... instantly just falling down on the Sombra. That's not going to be doing the trick there. And I think Saints are kind of falling apart right in front of our eyes. The Diva will get demicked, and that's going to be a nasty stagger on the side of the Saints. Squeak will get taken down relatively early, actually. So Waymo not going to stagger that one out, but Saints just struggling to put any pressure on Illinois State's team. Theo, I mean, uh, we call it the Saints Row, but oh. it feels like, oh. oh my god, I can't even get through my puns without getting interrupted <laughs> by this guy's headshots. Thankfully, I didn't know where I was going with that one, so he kind of saved me there. The Nano the Widowmaker. Oh my god, what? <laughs> they, they know what he's capable of. They don't even care. But they found the mine onto the Widowmaker at the very least. This is a cannon uh, situation, if you ask me. But this Winston wreaking havoc on the Saints' back line. Noxious and Razor are already down. It's just Red X here with Soaks trying to get this defense. And if you ask me, this lethal, uh, this Widowmaker is probably already oh, back no. on their perch. Noxious is going to switch to the Widow, in fact, just to try to find at least a little bit of the success that Lethal's been finding. And the Saints still haven't found their feet on the point enough oh, to make a mark. But nice. Razor finding that Lethal pickoff before things get too out of hand. Squeak sitting comfortably on the point with the Dome Shield in hand. Gonna drop that. Saints allowing themselves to slowly trickle in one by one onto the point, holding off the choke point as well. Squeak doing a great job making space for the team. Nobody's gonna be able to stop this one. They're not even able to get through. And without a Winston to counter their own, the Saints are at least gonna find a touch and now they have a payload payload to work with and they are still in this game yeah they get the cap and it's pretty good they should look for the far here razor gonna look to find some shots they're pretty gonna get out of that position the winston is back oh that's a nice pick but admiral does get taken down lethal dies as well so saints getting picks early here the barrage comes out picks up a reddick uh -oh. weak Picks up the on. This is still good trade for the side of the Saints. Noxious does fall, but he is in his own spawn. It's just a brick left alive here, but it's a kind of whiff from Waymon, who oh definitely should have found the shot onto Soaks there. Still, it's going to be a one fight again for the Saints. They didn't use any ultimates there as, as well, other than the Ana ultimate, and they're going to have four ultimates ready for this next push. Theo, I don't want false hope here. Do we have a chance? Can the Saints pull this off based off of what you're seeing? What are their odds looking like? They have a lot of alts to work with here, but they're still so far from the final point. Yeah, they need two clean fights here There's to win out this map. There's going to be the walls Did coming out, which means Razor cannot stay invisible. But this brick overcommitted far still lethal oh, nice. finds that pick. And now Nox is going to use an ultimate lethal with being seen through walls, finds a second pick as it's just complete domination from the Illinois State Widowmaker. Waymo gets a pick, Sweet falls as well, and Stokes should be falling in just a second. It's a clean 5 for 0 ace, and Saints just did not get their ultimates off first. 
So like I said, Theo, we needed a clean two fights there, and so far we're looking at zero. At the very least, they didn't commit too many ultimates. I think it was just a Widow that was used, if not maybe Red X using the Nano Boost. In any case, the Saints still have a lot to work with. Unfortunately, the Redbirds, after their success on that last hold, they're going to have quite the bit of alt economy as well. Nox is taking a spear to the chest. She's going to shrug it off. Thanks to the on the next turn. But almost going down there. Thankfully, the team is there to retaliate. We're going to see the Winston ultimate come out as well. Charging straight for the backline, but put to sleep. He's waking back up, though. Soaks, and the rest of the Saints are all down. Just one after the other, and Squeak not too far behind, as it seems the Redbirds just had that fight just completely encompassed. They saw everything from the beginning all the way to the end completely encompassed it all, and they just knew how to navigate that one perfectly. Sail the seven seas, Saints are rocking the boat, but they cannot stop it from leaking. They only have one ult to work with to the Redbirds two, and those are two very important ults you want to be playing with. They're nowhere near a second, let alone a third ult to be working oh, with. Oh, okay. Shot. Beautiful, you don't, need it, uh, you don't need ults to make something like that happen. Yeah. Can you do it three more times? Yeah, he's <laughs> gotta, he's gonna have to do a lot more of that. There's a Widowmaker in the spawn of the Saints lethal. He can't just be left alone because he will come in on the flank, but Saints should just push complete forward. But somehow, what? Squeak dies to the Aris ultimate. They're gonna use rally. the Brig rally here down their tank. No a very ambitious decision here. Did not choose to reset and look for another fight. I think this might cost them soaks. Is anti, is on one HP, and he will fall down as the rest of the Saints have to back up your Razor. Drops as well, and this looks like it's all. She wrote Noxious will fall. It's only Redix and Squeak left line. Squeak does get taken out, and so does Redix. A clean ace again for Illinois State University as they're gonna go up 2 0 in this series after a very dominant Kings Row performance. I really do respect that uh, rally play there. It, realistically, there was nothing else they could have done. It's not like anyone else had any real alts to work with, even by the end of that. All that exchange, not a single other teammate on the side of the Saints had an alt to work with. But let's see why this was so hard for the Saints to do, because if you have a Widowmaker like this on the opponent's team, you know, I wouldn't feel very confident with my odds, but then again, I'm not on the Saints Overwatch team. They still have a chance for sure. They just have to really figure out what kind of strategy they want to work with. Yeah, absolutely. Just, that was a funky comp kind of coming out from Illinois. The Widowmaker isn't really a King's Row kind of pick, but they just really? picked it. Yeah, you don't see you don't see Widowmaker too often oh. on the map. And the fact that they were able to pull it off with such lethal precision just shows how good this team is. They can play an off meta character and it can just completely dominate the entire game. So a nice pocket pick there coming out from Lethal and Saints. They did find a way to kind of slow him down a tiny bit, but more often than not, Lethal was definitely finding the upper hand on the Saints. I think what ended up really bringing the Saints back a little bit there was after a while, the oppression kind of got too strong and the Saints uh, were able to make pickoffs of from Redbirds. They were over committing a lot. So they're able to take out maybe like we saw, they took out that Winston and that allowed them to get onto the point. Squeak switching to the Winston as well, able to hold on that choke point, got them through, held it down. And uh, that was enough to get them at least the payload, but not enough to carry them to the end of the game. But ladies and gentlemen, things are slowing down a little bit, so we might be sending us off to a quick break. But Theo, any last thoughts on those first two games? I mean, Saints really had a good first map. Second map kind of fell off after the strong attack of Illinois. And, you know, third map, hopefully they can turn things around, but it's not going to be easy either. Coach is really going to have to put a bolt into them to re relight their fire, but they'll have that map and definitely not the best way to go. So hopefully they can stay mentally strong and uh, play, play very strong third map. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if the Saints still have it in them to make this one work. But we'll be right back after a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be coming with you. Game three.
Gentlemen, did you miss us? We're back here into the action and it is not slowing down, not even for a little bit here. Saints, they are fighting for their lives here in this game three and we're seeing it through the offense, but no, Squeak not even able to take down that cowboy there. Soaks going down just a bit before, Red X going down shortly after, Razor not too far behind. Noxious is still the last man standing for the Saints and on this flashpoint in this game three scenario against the Redbirds, the strongest Overwatch Collegiate team. Team. The Saints are really remembering why this team is the strongest Overwatch Collegiate team. But they are also remembering why that the Saints, they've been putting up a strong fight on every single map that they've been playing against. They just have to put it all together to walk away with the Absolutely, and the fight's gonna kick off again. A great start to Annoy as they win the first fight. Now it's gonna be the Saints using their speed ring, but it's gonna be kited out by the speed ring up at least State University. They know they can just chill up here and stall time for this point to tick. Saints are the ones that really need to take the fight with this composition. It's just so easy to run away, but as I say, that couple is taking down to one HP. We're gonna stay alive on the wrist up an Admiral. Will be the first one to fall, and that's a green start for the Saints. They find another pick. The ultimate's gonna be committed by Lucamino. I'm surprised the Saints answer with the ultimate of their own. The Ritz ultimate's gonna come out as well. It's gonna oh find a couple of Reddick's falls as well. And just like that, it's a 2v2 situation as Razor takes down Luke Camino. Kuffa gonna look to take down Squeak. Waymon dashes to the health pack. We'll be able to stay alive. And now it's Razor in the 1v2 situation. Has to be careful, but uh, so... I mean, Kuffa's gonna be falling uh, down here. Squeak is on 15 HP. Does fall as well as Tracer. Gonna be picked up by Lethal here in the trade. Uh -oh. Check him out onto the Genji yet again. Saints gonna almost win this fight. They had it for a second, but Illinois find the flip and they will be going up 1-0 on this flashpoint. They were both ready to draw the Dragon's Blade, but Waymon was first to draw the blood against Razor. So low, they were both taking out each other's tanks there. But at the end of it all, when it came down to just the skill difference, Waymon was able to win that exchange. Illinois State taking that first flashpoint. And now the Saints ready to fight for an answer. Two alts on the side of the Redbirds. One on the back of Razor, ready to unleash. Noxious on that Cassie, so close to his own. Getting ready to commit it. The Dragon's Blade has been unleashed. Waymon finding one with his own two now. But Waymon is finding three. Razor struggling to find a single one. That's a 10 player kill streak for Waymon. Squeak falling as well. The Saints weren't able to do anything with that one. Razor, dra Razor's Dragon Blade versus the one she tells you not to worry about. You're seeing Waymo completely slaughtering the <laughs> Saints lineup with that one. And now they're taking control of this flashpoint immediately. Saints struggling to find their way into it. But we're seeing the rally come out from Soaps, get them all some armor to fight their way through it, make it a little bit easier, a little bit more powerful. Squeak so low, but we're here. Oh, nice shot. Heals, Noxious finding two quick and easy kills with the ultimate in tow as well. Hopefully you don't want to commit this one. Don't even need to. Looking for that last shot to really take down this Orisa, but finding Lucino, not a bad consolation prize. Razor chasing them down, taking down the rest of the stragglers. Saints take this one, 2%, and hopefully a lot more to come as we're seeing this Tracer Bomb. Not gonna find its mark. Switching over to Widowmaker. Completely switching teams even, basically. You missed that one, you missed that one with Tracer, just drop it, go next. We're seeing Squeak at 90%, Noxious at 100. A bunch of the Saints are close to their own ultimates. They're looking very comfortable to be able to make this hold. Nice Redbirds job. only with Kuffa, Jessica at the ultimate now. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to make this hold. Yeah, I mean, Lethal gonna be dropping on the Widowmaker. And on this type of map, it's easier to get to the Widowmaker than on the King throw. So an interesting pick you're coming out from Lethal, but Noxious a couple of crucial shots last fight to give Saints all this momentum they're working with. Now one fight away from taking this flash point. They have almost four ultimates ready to go. It shouldn't be possible for them uh -oh. to this nice fight. Here come all the ultimates. The Cassidy oh! isn't used in time. Lethal finds a couple picks. He's gonna find three here. Saints dropping like flies. They use all the ultimates to try and win that team fight, but they're not able to do so in the end. Will there be a touch? Yes, there will be. Lethal swapping onto that Cassidy. No way! Instant, instant value, but it's gonna be 99 for the Saints. It's gonna be 
one team fight away here. They do have the Orisa Genji Blade combo, but that's basically all they have to win this next team fight. Nice idea. We're getting mogged right now on our heroes. Like, realistically, they are just accomplishing so much more on the heroes that we're playing than we are in the same exchanges. It's just so, it's, a, it's just such a hard pill to swallow, but they can reject this pill. The Saints are defying oh, their destiny, fighting their way onto this flashpoint. They got beat boots on the ground. They're not going to be able to get pushed back, but it's actually getting contested. It's 92. Who's going to take this exchange? It's all coming down to this tank versus tank. Setting the point. Any heals coming out for either of them. We're going to get the ultimate coming out, forcing them all back. The Dragon's Blade is unleashed, causing havoc in the back line. He's going to get stunned, forced back. He's going to go down so close. Squeak is going to fall to the McCree ultimate. And now we're seeing Wang Mo chasing down, getting all the kills. The overtime is coming through, and the Redbirds are able to take back control of this flashpoint in time, taking them all down the Saints had that one. It was a hair away, but they weren't able to really clutch it out. So unfortunate. So close. Like I said, we're getting mogged on our heroes. It's just yeah. so unfortunate. I mean, it's great play from Illinois State. They've played these fights absolutely perfectly. And now it's going to be Saints facing all of the match points possible. Flashpoint match point and just the best of five match points as well. The fight's going to be early here. I like the early rally here from Soaks. They find Lethal. They find Admiral. And they complete Completely run over the Redbirds. A beautiful team okay. fight. Only needing one ultimate and finishing the team fight in a matter of seconds. Wow. So Saints, they are capable of cleaning that one up. I'm sure that the Redbirds were kind of fine with making that sacrifice. Just get any kind of percent they can get, see if they can get any pickoffs, and just come back stronger as a team. They don't have anything to worry about right now. They might even be able to force out some ultimates on the side of the Saints while they're just building their own. They know that they can take these fights pretty lax. They have a lot of time to work with. And even if they lose one flashpoint, they're fine with it. The Saints are the ones with all the pressure on their back, and they're going to be committing a lot to make sure that they keep it. And as you can already oh. see, we're seeing the Cassie use the ultimate, taking down the ultimate, or taking down the tank on the side. Saints are able to wipe up the rest of the Redbirds. And while committing no ults, where I, think, I think they commit the one on the Juno. Redbirds are able to force out a lot of the ults on the Saints side. And uh, while the Saints are holding this one still, Squeak is the only one. Actually, Squeak and Razor close. We're going to have the Orisa and the Dragon Blade combo once again very soon. But it's still a lot of pressure on the side of the Saints. Finding a nice headshot, Noxious. Just going to take that one and go back. Make sure you can stay at 100% as this next push comes out. Illinois State, they are fighting for alts here. They just want to force out as much as they can from the Saints to make the next push even easier. But two alts coming out now, forcing everybody who is not Narissa to run away from their touch. lives. But they have the point. It's just a battle for pride at this point. And of course, ultimate percentage. We're seeing Razor just using that reflect, trying to get out here. He's going to get taken down. Red X not too far behind. Soaps taking down, at the very least, taking down that Orisa. But Redbirds are able to wipe up the rest of the Saints. They're going to be respawning together at the very least. But still, like I said, Redbirds just wanted to force out the ultimates from the Saints. And now they got three to work with on the potential last flashpoint of this series. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see here. Can the Saints go first before Soaks gets that uh, rally? If they can if they can start the fight with the Genji Blade and find that opening pick on Soaks, that's going to be able to play. They're going to use that Cassidy ultimate to just basically guarantee like the that. flashpoint. There's nothing the Saints can do in response to that. And a very, very good start to the round. Not too much used there. Now we have Soaks who has the rally ready, so the blade will be negated and vice versa. Or that should be the case, at least. The blade comes out here. The dead eye is here for Noxious. He's on the 100 speed. Okay. Finds once. Razor finding two with that dragon blade. It's going to be a very swift and easy team fight win for the Saints. They're still fighting. They still have a lot left in them. They know how to use their ultimates very effectively. And when the Redbirds aren't playing at 100%, it's very easy for the Saints to make things happen. So both of these teams very skilled. If anybody makes a single mistake, that's a huge opening for either squad. Saints holding this down, 30% now, tying it up. They don't have any else to work with. They're very close to Red X's. Squeak's not too, too far behind. But we're going to see Waymoan with the Dragon Slate and Kuffa just very close to the spear. Hopefully the Saints can make this hold. We're seeing Red X commit the ultimate. The beam is coming down, but both have been committed. And the Dragon Slate is unleashing havoc on the back line. Saints are going to lose one and almost lose two. Noxious is also gone. Squeak just finding that Genji, but losing their life for it. The Redbirds have found their way onto the flashpoint while wiping out the Saints at 74%. 
this next fight might be the last chance the Saints have to walk away with another chance to take at least one game in this series. Absolutely right there, Daniil. If they can win this last fight, Illinois will be up and will just take the entire map. Saints, though, will have a bad Arisa ultimate online. Kuffa has the Arisa ult already. That should be the only ultimate you see in this fight. It's just whoever's Arisa ultimate can really gain more value. I think it can be who decides this map. So it's going to be easier for Kuffa to find a good angle in here. Let's see if they're able to find a goes in on the Arisa. Both Arisa ultimates used in the middle there. A squeak is going to be the one to use it. Second gives a good spacing for his team, but gets taken out to 37 HP. Needs to stay alive and touch the point but goes down, so does Razor, and this could be good cleanup from the side of Illinois State. They're gonna wipe the Saints, and they're gonna take the series three to zero. Yeah, very unfortunate. The Saints weren't able to find Soaks or find, find Squeaks back to really lend him support that he needed. It was kind of left alone there. They were split up, they were segmented, and completely wiped out. The Saints weren't able to make that push work, but at least Razor got a nice highlight here. You can see his plays have been made just a little bit before. Doing so much damage, causing so much chaos in the back line of the Redbirds, wiping them out and earning a team kill for the Saints. So hey, we might have lost, but we did so with style. Yeah, I mean, Saints, they put on a great first map, but I think after losing that one, their mental might have shattered a little bit. They were so close to taking a map of one of the best teams in all of Collegiate here and just maybe not getting that win just set them off wrong. And then the Redbirds really played very, very well. They had composure. They hit their shots. They were in the right position, right place, right time, and they just outplayed the Saints today. Absolutely. And again, they were so close in that first round uh, on Li Jiang Tower. And um, again, in a lot of these situations, just one or two factors deciding who walked away with the victory that would allow you to take the victory even further to end up winning the map or round. So the Saints, like I said, getting 3-0'd, but it's like one of those very common situations where the scoreline does not reflect the battle that ensued. Saints put on a really strong fight, and I hope that they're proud of their performance. Obviously, this is a team that wants to win and is very of capable of winning, but no shame in the defeat either. Yeah, I mean, Redbirds moved to 4-0 and zero on the season. They're just stomping everybody. Saints now 1-2, and two, uh, played the toughest team in the league. Mm -hmm. Take it on the chin. Hopefully, they can keep their chin up for uh, next week. So, uh, a good series from both teams. The Saints going to take a lot of notes from what happened and think of different strategies to maybe play around that Widowmaker or maybe run some different comps against teams that are just picking something wacky into them. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they have in store for the rest of the season. Absolutely. But ladies and gentlemen, speaking of what we have in store for the rest of the season, that's going to be it for us today. And what we have for the rest of the season, a lot, a couple of days down the line, <laughs> a lot of days left in the season, but we still do have action lined up tomorrow. So we hope to see you there. And before we say our goodbyes, I absolutely want to thank everybody for viewing. I want to thank everybody in the back who made the stream possible. I want to thank our players, of course. And I want to thank our sponsors. We have Tim Hortons, Subway, Alienware, the St. Clair College SRC, the St. Clair College Alumni Association. Thank you for making the stream possible. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's been me, Theo, joined by Daniel. It's been a blast. Great matchup. We're going to be back tomorrow at 9 p.m., I believe, for some Valorant action. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll be seeing you tomorrow.